Come on, Huck. <laughs> Good boy. Hi, I'm Tom, and I'm here with Huck for adoption. As you can see, Huck's a yellow lab mix. Uh, we estimate he's about a year and a half of age. He certainly has a lot of the playfulness and uh, characteristics of a puppy still. And uh, Huck's a, a petite boy for his breed mix. Uh, we believe he's about 46 pounds right now. So he is just a little bundle of playfulness and energy and love, aren't you, baby? He is sure a good boy. And in Huck's adoption video, what I'd like to show you is uh, start with a bit of a temperament assessment on him. And uh, we'll start just by me manipulating Huck and showing that he's very used to being handled by people. So I'll put my hand in his mouth. As you can see, there's lots of kisses in return for doing that. I can play with his ears. Tugging on you a little bit hard, I know. Play with his paws. I can roll him over. Want the belly rub? And he looks like a very calm, sweet little puppy right now. And while the sweetness is certainly true on this boy, the calmness isn't always there. He definitely is a playful boy. He wants to run and have fun. Uh, he loves other dogs, as you'll see in this video. Uh, he's even uh, careful around cats. He loves to swim, as we'll show. And uh, he's very sweet and gentle in all respects. So, Huck, come on up. I want to get you to stand up a little bit more. Come here, baby. Yes, as you can see, he loves to hug people. I'm going to assess you a little more. Pull on your tail. You don't mind that, do you? Can I pick you up? Yeah, you're a light bait. You don't mind being held, do you? He's very content. And as I'm doing these assessments, what I'm checking for is to see if he gets uh, stressed out over anything that I'm doing. And I can tell you that he's not. He's staying very calm and relaxed. I've got some treats here. And what I want to show is that he's very careful with fingers. I deliberately am putting my fingers into his mouth with the treat. And you can see he continually backs off the treat. So he's got to taste it, but he hasn't got a bite of this treat yet. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. No response whatsoever when I put my face to his as he has a treat. You like those? Good job. He's being very careful to work around my fingers and get that treat. Can I have it back? Yes, I can. Look at that. So, there's no food aggression in this boy when it comes to handling treats with him. There you go, baby. You've done a great job. One more for you. And he does love to eat, as you can see. Uh, the next phase of this adoption video for Huck, uh, I will take him for a short little leash walk to show that he is pretty good on leash. And it's going to be a short little walk. I'm just going to walk him around in a little circle to show that he's used to being on leash. So, we'll be right back with him. You can see I'm not exerting tension on the leash. Oh, what a good boy. Let's go back again. Come. Huck, sit. Oh, he likes to lie down instead. Oh, did I sit on you? Did I squish your paw? I'm sorry. So you can see he's very good on leash um, when he's calm. Of course, he's such a playful boy. There are times that he's going to pull you a little bit, catch you off guard perhaps, and a quick correction, and he's back on to being his normal, very sweet self on leash. So, Huck, are you ready to play? What I'd like to do next is bring out just a couple of my dogs to have them interact with Huck. Um, he's been with a very large variety of dogs here at my house. 
I have two assessment Rottweilers that are very stable dogs that I use for all of my assessments. And Huck actually plays with them multiple times per day, which is very good training for his temperament. And then I have a large pack of dogs that are just a very social pack, including seniors and young dogs and tiny dogs and very big dogs. And he enjoys playing with them as well. So we'll get a few of them out in a minute. But for now, I'm going to go get Aldo and Bella and let you play with your big assessment Roddy friends, okay? Would you like that? Okay. You want to do that? Okay. Let's do that. We'll be right back. Huck, you're in the fountain. You love the water, don't you? Well, a little later in the video, I'll be showing you footage of Huck swimming with me in a pool on a day warmer than today. Huck, you having fun, huh? He does love the water. And he's a very good swimmer. Okay, let's go, Huck. Come. There's your buddy Aldo. <laughs> Huck! Huck! Come on, Huck. Come on, Huck. Come here, Huck. Huck. Here, baby. Got Huck out with a very large pack of dogs. He's a little bit shy at first with them. It's just kind of overwhelming to have this many um, all at once, but he's doing quite well. He's certainly not aggressive. Baxter, you're such a playful boy. I think you should play with Huck. Oh. Come here, Huck. There you go. We'll get to see you meet Baxter. I'm going to walk Huck around a little bit, let him interact with everybody. Come. Come on, everybody. Samson, come here. Annie, come on. Ralphie. Come on, kids. Come on. Come on, Gertrude. Come say hi. Sam. Everybody has to say hi. Come here, Gertrude. There you go. Who wants to say hi to you? Come on. Such a good boy. <laughs> He's even getting our very old beagle to play a little with him. I'd say you have a very playful personality. You're going to lie down for everyone. I took it off leash. You can run and play a little bit. See if you make some friends.
He's off into the brush to look for squirrels. <coughs> ah, there you are, baby. Well, I think you can see from this interaction with all these dogs that Huck is not a very dominant dog. Not at all. <laughs> He's willing to be submissive to just about anyone that comes along. He does know that this is their yard and their pack, of course. Ralphie! Huck, let me go ahead and leash you up for a second for closing remarks. I'd just like to make a few closing remarks on Huck. Um, I'd like to tell you that uh, he does travel very well. Uh, when we go anywhere in the van, he loads right up. And if I wish for him to be crated while we travel, he'll go right into his travel crate uh, very easily. He is also crate trained here at the house. We crate train most of our dogs, and he's done very well with that training as well. Uh, he never soils in the house. Uh, never soils in his crate. He's done, done a very good job on it. So uh, we think that Huck would be a, a great companion to the Wright family with uh, a desire for a very sweet, loving, uh, non-dominant dog that also likes to play very, very much. So I think that describes you to a T, Huck. Uh, thank you for watching Huck's adoption video, and we hope that Huck is right for you. And for now, Huck, why don't you go play with your friends just a little bit more?